Today on the table, I've got an MSI GL65 laptop that I'll be tearing down to replace the thermal paste on it. So in this one, most of the screws are extremely obvious. There's no real hidden screws, apart from underneath the factory seal sticker. But you know by Australian consumer law that uh, this sticker being voided does not necessarily void your warranty. So with that removed, and finally getting inside the machine, tearing it down is actually relatively straightforward with everything in obvious locations. So there's on each fan there is two Phillips head screws, on the GPU there's four screws, the CPU has three, and they get retained in the cooler itself. Overall, a really straightforward job. Taking the bottom cover off, you do have to use a little bit of care. I try and op open it to the end, or opposite end, to where the headphone jacks are, and the microphone jack, just because the, the plastic does go all the way around it. So if you try and pull it from that section, you do risk damaging the mainboard. Another thing I do like with this is the system fans are attached to the copper cooler. So you do have to disconnect them prior to lifting the cooler. Do try and twist it a little bit. It will make it lift a bit easier. But as you see here, I did forget one screw. A bit of twisting and that will get me in there. Bingo. So this is the factory thermal paste that's on there, which definitely feels more solid than liquid, which I find is not my preferred style of paste. So I will be replacing that with some deep cool Z9 thermal paste. I'm doubtful it's really going to drop the temperature that much, as it's only a very new machine. But while it's here, I might as well swap it. Also notable, it, this one came from the factory with a Western Digital Blue NVMe 512 gig drive. I thought there may have been another slot available on the board, or another M.2 slot. I wasn't able to spot one with my bit of inspection of it, but it does actually have a 2.5 inch drive bay which is usable. And at this point in time in the video, it's in the upper right hand corner. But anyway, I'm going to replace this thermal paste, put it back together, and go from there. So I'll see you later, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.